Just a few metres from where I'm stood, before it was developed over in the late 19th century, was the cage of the parish of Bromley. Sometimes known as the lockup or roundhouse, the building was located adjacent to a place known as Cagefield, which doesn't survive today. Calling it a building would be generous. There were no facilities or heat sources, and it was very exposed to the elements. The Bromley Record, the local newspaper, described it as a dirty old shed surrounded by muck heaps. It's pretty easy to guess what they were for. Most commonly, they confined drunks who were released the next day, although quite often they were used for detaining those accused of more serious crimes until they could be transferred to a town or tried before the local magistrate. This meant that some were held there for an extended number of days. They were certainly terrible places to be held. One particularly sad story from the Bromley Cage survives. A local man, William Goldsmith, hung himself in the cage on the 16th of May 1809, having been accused of stealing tools to split locks. The Bromley coroner recorded a verdict of fellow de se, a term meaning felon of himself. This was before the movement of taking mental health conditions seriously took place. His body was interred at a crossroads very nearby, with no rights observed, as was sadly typical for those who had died by suicide. Not even a trace of the Bromley cage is visible today. Very little from that era survived at all. However, many villages from across England have kept their parish cages, and I would recommend going to see one to understand just how desolate they were as places to be confined.